Hi everybody, this is Paula with Pilates. Today we're going to go ahead and jump right in it and help you to become a better you. So go ahead and get down on all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips for cat stretch. We're going to spread our fingers wide, we're going to tuck our tailbone, lengthen our spine, round our shoulders. Make sure that when we look between our knees, we do not see our toes touching. And then we're going to come back to a flat back. So we're going to exhale, rounding our back, tucking our chin, looking between the knees, pressing our palms into the mat, and come back to flat back. Again, exhale as you round. Inhale to flat back. And round. And flat back. Good. Three more here. And two, and one more, good, let's do our scoop, so breathe into the belly for five, four, three, two, one, making it large and round, now take the air out for five, four, three, two, one, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, make the belly big for five, four, three, two, one, make the belly small for five, four, three, two, one, hold the belly tight for five, four, three, two, one, inhale into the belly, five, Four, three, two, one. Make it small and exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the belly big and inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the belly small and exhale. Five, four, three, two. One, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, one more. Make the belly big and inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Make the belly small and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the belly button tight against the spine and breathe, five, four, three, two, one, good. Come on down to your back. Bring your legs to a bent knee position. And let's get ready for imprint. Knees over the hips, arms at your side, shoulders away from your ear lobes. Go ahead and lead with your heel. And try to get your heels to hover over the mat or the floor, belly, or excuse me, back pops off the mat. Now bring your belly button to your spine, spine to your mat, and return to start. And release the hips and allow the heels to fall, hovering over the mat. There is a small little lift underneath the lower back. And bring the belly button back to the spine and spine back to the mat. Good. Let's breathe into it. Exhale as we lower. And inhale as we return. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale as we lower. Allow the hips to turn over. Don't bend your knees or lose the 90 degree angle in your knee. And return. Good. And exhale. And inhale. Two more. Exhale. And inhale. One more. Exhale. And inhale. Good. Now simply lower your feet down to your mat in a bent knee position. And let's drop one knee off to the side. Let's extend the leg, leading with the pinky toe for supine hip rotation. 
Let's rotate, big toe taps the mat without moving this other knee, and drag the foot back underneath the ankle underneath the knee. Same side again. Inhale, exhale in the extension, rotate and inhale, and exhale as you return. Try to keep your waistband on the mat, okay? Again, same side, drop the knee out to the side, extend the leg, rotate, and return. One more. Switch legs, drop the other knee off to the side, still keep your belly button pressed through your spine, Extend the leg, rotate, and return. Again, drop the knee out to the side. Shoulders relax away from the ears. Extend the leg, rotate, big toe taps, and return. Good, again, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, again, knee off to the side, extend the leg, rotate, and return, good, alright, let's do our hip, our alternating um, leg lifts, okay? So that is the inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower. Back press into the mat. Lift and lift and lower and lower, okay? Lift and lift and lower and lower. Good. Inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, lower. Two more sets. Lift. One more. Good. Turn over onto your side and let's do our spinal rotation. Okay. Both arms are going to be extended. Both bottom shoulder, excuse me, is going to be pushed to the back edge of the mat. Glutes, back edge of the mat. Knees to a 90 degree angle. Hands, palms stacked. Okay? You can also lift up your oblique here on the mat. Okay? And here we go. Top arm rotates away from the bottom arm. As we rotate, we look back at the hand. Fingers are open, and inhale, now exhale, and return. Good, let's do that again. So, top arm away, exhale as we rotate. We'll make sure that the hand, or the arm and the hand, are hovering over the floor. We're taking a single breath here, and we're going to inhale and exhale, bring the palms back to a close. Okay? And breathing only, so. Again, top arm away, exhaling. Feel the twist in your lower back. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and then as you exhale, you bring the palms back to a close. Good. Now let's switch to the other side so you can hear me say the very same thing with me facing you. All right, bottom shoulder, back edge of the mat. Legs to a 90 degree angle, over the ankles. Knees over the ankles, head is down, palms are stacked. Lift the oblique, lift the side that's closest to the mat. For an additional stretch in the lower back, take the top hand away, rotate it, open up between the fingers, give each finger space to stretch, 
reach through the fingertips and bring both hands back together to the start position, okay? Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're not touching the floor. Make sure you're looking back. Single breath here, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now exhale, bring the hands back together, okay? Breathing only. Good. One more. Take the top arm away. Rotate. Follow the fingers. Turn the head. Keep the knees on the mat. Keep your side up. Reach through the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and close. Nice. All right. Turn over onto your back. Knees are going to be in a bent knee position. Arms at your side, shoulders away from your ears, your hip rolls, pressing your feet into the mat. You're going to take your hips, you're going to drive them up to the ceiling. Weight is dis distributed between your shoulders and your head. They're just resting on the mat and then lower down one vertebrae at a time. Okay? Equal distribution of weight also in your big toe, pinky toe, and heel. So drive your hips up. Look up at the ceiling, don't lift your head, allow your chin to hover over your chest, and then lower down. Good, and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good, two more, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last one. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Good. Now I want you to take your shoulders and shrug them up to your ears, keeping your head, neck, and back on the mat. And then lower down. And shrug the shoulders up. Your arms are elevated over the mat. You're looking up at the ceiling. And release the shrug. We're going to inhale, exhale, shrug. Inhale, release. And exhale, shrug. Inhale, release. Pulling your shoulder blades all the way down. And exhale, shrug. Inhale, release. Two more. Shrug up. Get nice and tight in the shoulders, and then release that tension, okay? And last time, shrug, and release the shrug. Good. Now swing both arms up, fingertips point towards the ceiling, head down, and I want you to just lift your shoulder blades off the mat, reaching for the ceiling, and then lower down, okay? And reach up. My head stays on the mat, spine, back, feet, glutes, all of it stays on the mat. Just lifting my shoulders up and then resting them down. Again, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Reach as if you're trying to grab a big balloon over your chest and bring it down. Good. Two more. Reach. And lower. And one more. Reach. And lower down. Good. Now extend your arms behind you. We're going to do arm circles so your palms are facing. Your thumb is down, pinky finger up. Now turn your palms out and circle down. Okay? Reach above your head. Inhale. Back is pressed into the mat. Still keep your imprint. Turn your palms out. Exhale. Inhale as you reach behind you, making yourself two inches taller. Turn your palms out. Exhale. And breathing only. Inhale. One more.
Good. With your arms at your side, palms facing the mat, let's do abdominal curls. So lift your head, lift your shoulders, and then lower down. Good. Now you're gazing up at the ceiling. As you lift, change your gaze from the ceiling to the wall, to the floor, to your belly button, and then lower down. Good. As you come up, exhale. So changing your gaze, lifting your head, squeezing all the air out of your core. Good. And lower down. And breathing only. Exhale. Inhale as you lower. Again. Last one. Very nice. Good. Now we're going to prepare for 100. Today, I want you to try 100. If you haven't done it this way before, I want you to try it this way. I want you to try it with your legs at tabletop and you're up in the C curl position, okay? Everyone's arms are going to be extended just like this. And you're uh, still going to breathe five inhale count and five exhale count. Still going to bounce up and down. So notice that my legs are not only are they at tabletop, but they're hip distance apart. So if I turn it sideways, this is how my knees look when they're pointed up at the ceiling. They should not be close together like so, and they should not be wide apart like so. But just right wherever your hips are is where it's how, excuse me, is how far apart your knees should be, okay? So hip distance apart, hip distance apart. All right, arms at your side, head is up, and here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold your arms, lower them down, then lower your head down and lower your feet down last, okay? All right, go ahead and grab behind your knees and come to a seated position for half roll back, okay? So that's where your knees are bent, still hip distance apart, arms extended out in front of you, okay? Looking straight ahead. Now we're gonna sit back and create a little curl in our core. This is called our C curl, seated C curl. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one arm away, rotate it away, look back at it, okay? And then we're gonna return it. And then we're gonna take the other arm away, rotate it away, and then return it. And then we're gonna hinge. So that's turning our hips over, which causes us to lower our thumbs to our outside of our ankles, and then come back up to seated, okay? You can always return to the original um, rollback where we just sat back in our C curl. There was no rotation of the arms. And then we just hinged and then we came back up to seated, okay? Giving you a little bit of a challenge today. So sit up nice and tall. Sit back into your C curl. Take one arm away, palm up, rotate it away, by keep, but also keeping the other arm in front and return. And rotate the other arm away, opposite arm, and return. Good. Now we're going to turn the hips over as if we're trying to look for our belly button. And then come back up to seated. One more time. This time just the breathing. So we inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up to seated. Good. Now lay all the way back. 
Let's do our full roll up. So that's our legs gonna be extended. Toes pointed, okay? Arms above the head, but not touching the ground because if our arms touch the ground, then our back pops up. We don't want that. So we wanna make sure that our arms are hovering. Now we're gonna inhale, bring the arms on the, to the outside of the chest. And we're gonna take a big exhale and come up to seated. Notice when I came up to seated, my toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. But when I roll back, my toes point away. Arms come back to the start position. Inhale, arms come to the outside of the chest. Exhale, toes pointed up. Sitting up, looking forward, okay? All right, and roll back, point toes away. Good, and inhale. Exhale, inhale as we roll back. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Inhale. As we roll back. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale as we roll back. Okay? Remember, in these exercises, to come from a laying position to a seated position, you always have to exhale really hard and really well, okay? That's what's going to pull your core in and help you to come to that seated position. So don't be discouraged. All right, come to a seated position. Let's do rolling like a ball, okay? This time we're going to have our hands on the outside of our calves. We're going to tuck our head nice and tight. We're going to pull our belly button in, okay? And we're going to inhale and roll back. Exhale. Roll up. Remember that? You can also grab behind your knees, pull your belly button in, tuck it, inhale, exhale, okay? Again, inhale, exhale. Make it a goal not to touch the mat with your head, okay? So inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to do our seated twist, our spine twist, okay? This time, we're going to have our legs extended. Ankles are going to be locked. Legs are going to be locked, okay? Arms are going to be out to the side, okay? Sitting up nice and tall, looking forward. And remember, we change position as we twist, okay? So we inhale at center, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to exhale for three, for two, for one. Inhale back to center. Arms are at shoulder height, and you should be able to see your thumb on either side, okay? So I'm going to do the other side. Inhale, now exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale back to seated, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn and face you so that you can see my feet or the bottom of my feet. Notice that they're not gonna pass each other and yours shouldn't either, okay? So arms out to the side. Notice that my shoulders are shoulder height, my thumb, I can see them, they're up and pointed and my finger, pinky finger is down, okay? Inhale, now exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, back to center, okay? And exhale, three, two, one, and back to center, okay? I'm also gonna turn and pick, put my back towards you so you can see me from the back, all right? So, arms out to the side, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, now exhale, three, two, one. Notice that you see I change position every time. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, Three, two, one. Look over your shoulder and inhale back to center. Good. Nice job. Lower your arms down. And let's go ahead to our single leg circles. So lay all the way back. And today I want you to try the challenge. The challenge today is for you to have the other leg extended as well. 
if when we or after we start doing this position you feel uncomfortable bring that opposite leg back to a bent knee position okay so if you don't remember this is the exercise we extended one leg into the air we imagine a clock on the ceiling we're going to move our leg in a clockwise rotation for a number and then counterclockwise for a number we also discuss bending our knee making it a little bit more comfortable Otherwise, shoulders are down, head is down, and our arms are at our side, okay? So, this is a bent knee position, circle, okay? Circle in a clockwise motion. And for the challenge today, this is extended leg position, okay? We're going to do two more in this direction, and then we're going to switch. Good, leg center. Now we're gonna go in the clockwise, counterclockwise direction, okay? So circle, remembering to breathe, okay? Keeping this leg nice and steady if you're doing the challenge. Three more, two, one. Good, bring that leg in, and I'm gonna bring it down to a bent knee position first and show you the bent knee option, okay? As well as review breathing. So, imaginary clock on the ceiling. I am going to circle. Inhale when my knees come closer together. Exhale when they're farther apart. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, three more. And two. And one. Good, now I'm gonna move in a counterclockwise direction. Notice I've extended my leg for the challenge. Exhale, inhale. Okay, knees farther apart, exhale, closer together, inhale. So essentially you're inhaling for a six count, exhaling for a six count. Two more, and one more. Good, bring that leg up. Bring it into a bent knee position and lower your foot down to the mat. All right, now we're gonna go into our single leg stretch, okay? So, bring your legs to a tabletop position. Bring your arms to the outside of your calves. Lift your head while you're here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull one knee into the chest. Remember, one arm supports the top of the knee, one arm or one hand supports the bottom of the foot, okay? So think of it, right arm, right knee is supported at the bottom with the right arm. The opposite arm supports the top. The knees come together and then we switch. Now my left arm, my outside arm is supporting the bottom of the foot while my opposite arm supports the top of the foot. Inhale, knees together. Exhale when they're apart. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more step. Last one. Good, legs at tabletop. Now we're gonna do our twist, okay? So I want you to bring your arms across your chest. Same leg motion as we just did, but we're taking the opposite shoulder to the opposite knee. So twist, look over to the side of the knee that's closest to the chest. Inhale, looking over. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Okay, your other option is for this one, bring your feet down and twist. Inhale, exhale, one more set. Last side and lower down. 
Good. Now for double leg stretch. Double leg stretch, okay? So we did this one in parts these last couple of weeks. Today we're going to put it together. So your legs are going to be at tabletop. Elbows are going to be in. Head is going to be up in the C curl, okay? This is your start position. Then you're going to extend arms and legs. Round the arms. Draw the knees in, okay? All while you're here. Extend. Bring it in, okay? Inhale, nice and long. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, okay? Now, if you find that you'd be more comfortable with doing only one part at a time, lower your head down, and an option is with your head down, still start here, extend, and bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay? The other option is to simply lower your feet down and do your arms only. Okay? Remember, we're working on making you a better you. Okay? And whatever you do is more than enough. All right? Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and turn over to our tummy and let's do some breast stroke. Okay? All right. So, with your feet plantar flex and your hands are underneath your shoulders, you are going to extend your arms up with your, with your chest down and simply round your shoulders, okay? So it's going to look like this. Hands on the outside of your chest. You're facing the mat, not kissing it, but getting close enough as if you could. And now you're going to extend your arms up above your head. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, arms up, stretching. Exhale, round down. Okay? Now go ahead and bring your arms to a bending position underneath your chin. Take your feet, bring the heels together only, and open up the knees, okay? And what we're going to do here is heel squeezes, okay? We've done it before. But this time, we're going to add a lift, okay? So, remember I said with this exercise, my head tends to be up so I can talk to you and you can hear me, but your head must be down on the back of your top hand like so. And that is to protect your spine, okay? I'm going to explain some things to you before we start and then we're going to do it together. So, heel squeeze together. You'll notice that your glutes contract, your butt contracts when you squeeze your heels together. When we get ready to do the lift, make sure you not only squeeze the heels together, but you also lift the thighs off the mat, okay? So you'll hear me say squeeze and lift, all right? Otherwise, put your arm, put your head down on top of your hand, and I want you to squeeze your heels together, just the squeeze for now, and release. Just squeeze and release. Squeeze the heels together and release, okay? Squeeze and release. Good, one more. Squeeze the heels together, notice my glutes contract, and release. Now we're gonna squeeze and lift. So squeeze and lift, lower and release. Squeeze and lift, lower and release. Squeeze and lift, pressing your belly button into the mat, and lower and release. Two more. Squeeze and lift, lower and release. And one more. Squeeze and lift, lower and release. Very nice job. Go ahead and lower your feet down, making sure they're no wider than hip dip than the mat. Bring your hands on the outside of your chest. Push up, sit back, place your forehead on the mat. Let's do a shell stretch. You're going to round your arms so that your sides, forehead is on the mat, your feet are bridge of the foot down. Go ahead and round. And then lower. Exhale, round. Pull your belly button in. Roll to the top of your head. Shoulders are drawn down. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale, round your back. Exhale, 
look between your legs, look back, nice relaxed position, and inhale, one more, exhale, and inhale, very good, come up to a seated position, sit down on your mat, bring your legs out in front of you, toes up, heels down, for a seated spine stretch. So all you're doing is you're bending at the hips, right the waist, excuse me, and you're gonna drive your fingertips forward as far forward as you can without lifting your glutes, and then drag your fingers in. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna inhale, draw your belly button in, and your rib cage in and up, as if you're zippering up your, your rib cage, and now exhale, pulling your belly button in, reaching forward, and inhale, come to seated. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale, reach forward. Inhale. Good, and exhale. And inhale. And one more. Exhale. And inhale. Nice job. Now go ahead and turn so you're in a lying position on your, on your side. And you're going to line up with the back edge of your mat like we did for the rotation, sideline rotation, okay? <clears throat> but this time, you're going to have your bottom arm up by your ear, or the ear closest to the mat. You're going to have your other arm right in front of your chest. And after you've lined up with the back edge of your mat, you're gonna take both legs and kick them to the opposite corner, okay? So you look just like this. Now we're gonna move into our side line leg variations, okay? We've done a couple of these before, but this time we're gonna go through a rotation of five exercises, okay? I'll walk you through each one, and we're gonna do with them on both sides. So first on this side, then on the opposite side of the body. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is call an abductor. So again, remember, you're only lifting the top leg, lowering the top leg. We inhale as we lift up, we exhale as we lower down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Two more, one more, good. Now we're gonna do the kick. So the same top leg is now gonna kick forward for a two count, okay? Watch the kick. It is kick for one, kick for two, and return. Toes are gonna be pointed when I kick one, kick two, heel is flexed, or ankle is flexed, so that the heel leads when we come back. Angle is flexed, so toes are, point, toes are pointed, kick, kick. Angle is flexed, so that the heel leads when we come back for one count. Now the breathing. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Now we're gonna do circles, okay? So you're gonna take the top leg, point the toe, and we're just gonna circle in the clockwise direction. And really, it doesn't matter which way you start, as long as you circle in one direction for a time and circle in the opposite direction when I tell you switch. Three, two, one. Now switch. Circle backwards. Circle, circle, and circle. If you find that you wobble a lot, backward and forward, like your body is rocking, press your hips into the mat. Press this forward hand, or the front hand, excuse me, outside your chest into the mat also, and spread your fingers. You got three, two, and one, and then lower down. Good. 
Now we're gonna do the unilateral leg raise. So that is you lifting your top leg, lifting up your bottom leg, and then lowering both legs together, okay? Again, that is lift the top, lift the bottom, lower both. Inhale, inhale, exhale. If you're having trouble, rotate slightly to onto your bottom glute, lift, lift, lower. Lift, lift, lower. And if this is your lift, and your lift, and then you lower, that's great. Two more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Now we're going to do the bilateral leg lift, okay? So that's both legs we're going to lift together. So it is both legs lift, both legs lower. Remember, if this is your lift, that is quite fine. Again, inhale, exhale. Both legs lift, both legs lower. Let's do one more. Lift and lower. Now you might find the need to tap that top hip, okay? And then rub it a little bit because you feel it's the muscles here are all tight and locked and that is quite all right. Now, let's switch to the opposite side. Same thing on the opposite side because we want to make sure that our body is always even, okay? So whatever we do to one side, we have to do it to the opposite side. Arm up by the ear, other arm in front of the chest, both feet kick to the opposite corner, rotate slightly towards the back edge of your mat, okay? Taking that top leg, abductors first. So lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. Now we're going to do the kick. So toe is pointed when we kick to the front. Ready? Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale. Now flex the foot. Bring back with the heel. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Three more. One more. Good job. Now we're going to do the circles, okay? So take that top leg and let's circle. Circle, circle, circle. Little circles are fine. Just make sure you rotate through the hip. For four more, three, two, and one. Now opposite direction. Circle in the opposite direction or counterclockwise. Good. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three, two, and one, and lower. And now we're going to do our unilateral leg lift, okay? So we're going to lift the top leg, lift the bottom leg, lower both together. Lift and lift and lower. Remember, rotate just a little bit back on the bottom glute. Lift, lift, and lower. Inhale, inhale, exhale, three more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. One more, lift, lift, and lower. Good, now here's the challenge, the both legs, by lateral leg lift, okay? So, lift both, lower both. If this is your lift, that's a great lift. If this is a lift, then that's also a great lift. And inhale, exhale. One more. Lift and lower. Go ahead and give that hip a tap. Give it a little rub. Good. Push yourself up. And let's end with our fun seal, okay? So soles of your feet together. 
hands thread it through to the outside of your ankle and we're going to roll back and try to clap at least once okay so lift your feet up pull your belly button in roll back and clap and roll up okay remember inhale exhale to roll up inhale to roll back exhale to roll up if your feet touch the mat like this that's okay give me one more inhale exhale nice job go ahead and sit crisscross applesauce and i want you to round your arms up inhale pull your belly button in reach through your fingertips and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale awesome job today thank you for joining me for another session of pilates i hope to see you soon and continue to be a better you have a great one